Okay, this is a little spur road off in the Big Fire area. A lot of people will miss it if you're not looking for it. It is on the map. And it comes down to this water access. You can see there's a boat coming up right there. You can put a boat in right here, small one. And then up on this hill over here, there's another road and there's like a circle up that hill. And there's somebody camped up there. Where's that tent at? There it is, there's a tent right back there. Road's pretty rough coming in, but no problem for the Cherokee. But we're headed out of here. We just want to come down here and check out this spur. What you doing in there? What are you doing in there? I'm knitting. What are you knitting? Knitting you a hat. <laughs> Go further, use Onyx off-road. This is a lot steeper than it looks. Not too bad, but it's steep. Rutted. We actually hit this road on the way out of Big Fur. Uh, I thought I would just start the video out with this. And after we get to the main road, I'm going to backtrack to where we went and camped and our adventure at Big Fur. We have several other videos about this area. It's always been kind of a go-to place for us to go swim. Little suspension workout. The area we normally camp uh, was pretty full up and we were tent camping so there was really no good sites over there to set a tent up and there's something to remember about this area there's not a lot of level ground now if you're in your rooftop tent and it's on a trailer or a vehicle then you know it's no problem leveling out and we've done this before in the past there are a couple areas that you can set a ground tent up and it's good enough that you'll get by and uh, we end up staying in a completely different loop and uh, pretty much had it to ourselves. but there's only in my opinion one good area to get down to the lake to swim and even that area was pretty steep getting down there to the water uh, the place we set the tent up was not real level but it was level enough that we could sleep as long as you know our head was higher than our feet but we're going to go back to that and uh, as soon as we get up this trail. But I just wanted to show this little part of this trail. A lot of people I don't think know that it's even there. And uh, you can, there's enough room maybe for a couple tents at the end of this. And you do have some water access. So let's go on and finish this trail and go back to camp. This trail is shown on Onyx Off-Road app and google maps so it's not a private road there's no keep out signs or anything like that uh, it is kind of hidden i mean you have to look for the turn uh, if you have the app you're not going to have a problem you know as long as you're paying attention to your mapping but it, it is a if you're coming into big fur it's going to be off to the right now if you do not turn to come to the big fur area and continue going straight you will go to little fur now this is a pay camp area that's very nice and it's worth going to check it out because you may want to stay there. We're getting close to the end of this road and uh, if you want to leave you take a left and that go back out to the main road but we're going to take the right and go back to uh, our camp area and we're going to show you uh, our weekend at Big Fur. All right, we're back to the main road that goes to and from Big Fur Camp Area. We arrived at Lake Washita, the Big Fur public use area, on a Thursday evening. 
Now it was getting late and we just had enough daylight to get the tent set up and our bedding and stuff taken care of uh, before it was dark. So I didn't take a lot of video. Now it just happened that on Thursday night we knew we was going to get some rain, but we had no idea that we was going to get the rain we got. I do believe uh, the flash flood warnings were put in place and uh, the last I had checked they had said we had 3.5 inches of rain and was expecting two more inches. So I kept an eye on things but we were fine and our Ozark uh, trail, two room, quick setup tent did very well. Uh, the wind didn't seem to bother it too much and the water stayed out. Now I did put camp dry on that tent. Uh, really heavy right after I bought so we had a pretty good rainstorm for last several hours last night and this morning and I, it's not going to completely be out here to around 11 30 noon but it's a lot better right now than it was and I got up this morning and I actually made coffee in the two-room Ozark trail tent over there but I didn't, we was gonna have bacon and eggs and I didn't wanna cook the bacon in there and smoke it all up. So I went ahead and set up this little tent that I got to set up on the beach. And I just set it up as a kind of a kitchen. And you can tell, you know, it's nasty. I got the floor wet and muddy and I had to clean that up once this gets out of here. But uh, it did work for me getting in there and cooking our bacon and eggs. I stayed dry. Once I got the tent set up, I stayed dry and I got everything cooked and it worked out really nice. I mean, I set this up in the rain and it didn't take me but a couple of minutes to get it set up. And the wind hasn't been real bad, but so far the wind that we have had hasn't messed with it at all. So I'm glad I got it. It came in. I wasn't really planning on using it for a kitchen, but it came in for a uh, good little kitchen this trip and i'm just gonna for now leave it set up there because we can sit in there and see the lake now we normally don't camp over here but the campground the loop that we normally camp in uh there was somebody in almost every spot and we would have had to climb down banks to get to the water just like uh, here, except this is actually easier than that other spot we could have got over there. But this is uh, Friday morning. We actually got here last night thinking that we would have a choice of campgrounds or camp spots over there. And it did not turn out that way. Uh, it, I was really shocked at how many people are there. And it looks like there's a bunch of full-timers uh, set up, so... We come on over to this loop. We normally go to the other loop because the bank area to the lake is better. But this isn't bad. It's not too steep to get down here. It's got this slate rock imagine it could be pretty slick when it's wet but once you get in the water it's just regular rock and crystal clear water yeah this these rocks are slick you have to be careful walking on them and then it kind of has a little cove that goes around in there And the boat ramp, you go on around that curve and the boat ramp's going to be over there. I think last time I checked the weather we had 3.5 inches of rain and they said we could get up to 5. So I'm really impressed with our tent, which I did uh, camp dry, spray it right after I bought it. And I do all my tents like that, unless it says on the tents not to use camp dry on it. So we stayed dry. The wind didn't blow it down. So I'm pretty impressed for what it is. 
and it sets up pretty fast. We had room, you know, to get in there and do everything we need to do. I know if I would have brought our rooftop tent, it would have been hard making coffee inside of it to stay dry. Unless you know you set the annex up. But it worked. You can see the wind's blowing on it. Got the roof punched in a little bit. But so far it's held up fine. Now, this campground, it's hard to find a level spot. Very hard. In fact, there's really, unless you're in the middle, there's not much level here. So we put our heads on the high end to sleep and we made, made it okay. But we checked out all the campgrounds all the way around and just none of them really have a level spot. Now that's where the rooftop tent comes in. You know, you can throw blocks underneath your tires and you can get your tent level. But I've just got to where I like to be able to stand up and get dressed and I like to, when the rain comes, if we want to sit in chairs and play cards or whatever, we've got plenty of room that we can do it. Now here's a good one. You could pull in and set up. Got a little bit of flatness to it, but it's still it's, it's steeper than it looks. And there's really no easy way to get down to the lake over on this side and the bank area is not all that great it's another spot right here but i have no clue where you set anything up because there is nothing level right there and there is restrooms up here. We haven't been to them because we always bring our own. But since I'm this close, let's go ahead and just walk up there and see if they're open or what's, what the story is with them. I tell you what, the thunder in these hills and on with the lake like it is, it really pops when it thunders. It was pretty amazing. But this is our first morning. Like I said, we set up Thursday night, or last night. Dealt with the rain. Uh, I did get the tent set up, uh, the main tent set up before the rain got here. urinal and hole in the ground toilet so there are restrooms here and you go out to that fork there and you go left and that goes to the main campground and it also has a restroom like this I forgot how many sites right there's quite a few we have a couple videos from camping in that area on our YouTube channel. So you can check them out if you want to. Just look up Big Fur. We are on Big Fur in the Washita area, Washita Lake. But since it's still raining and I'm still getting wet, I think I'm gonna go to the tent, dry off, and then just hang out in there until the rain gets out of here. It's too cold right now to get in the lake. Remy's been uh, in the lake as soon as we got here. He got in there and waited around a little bit. He enjoyed some bacon this morning.
I always like coming down here. You know, this is a free campground. And most time, it seems like people pick up after themselves and it's not ever too bad. But it is hard to find a level spot. I'll just warn you now. I'm type as long as I can get my head higher than my legs, I'll sleep all right. But I'm back to camp. Like I said, I'm going to climb into the tent and dry off. And just kind of relax. Looks like it's trying to clear off. And soon we'll be out enjoying the lake. Okay, we are using the outrageous beach tent for hanging out and cooking again. I got the Coleman camping table set up. Plenty of room for the Coleman stove and plates and stuff like that. And we're just simple tonight. We're just going to dig up some corn dogs. Save some steaks for tomorrow. The little outrageous tent has came in very handy. Really enjoying it, glad I got it. And uh, we had some big gust of wind after the rain moved out of here today. And uh, I was afraid it's gonna take it apart because it was blowing right up into this open part. But uh, it withstood, I was gonna tear it down. I said, you know what, let's see what it'll do. And it did stay just like it is. In fact, our big tent, this Ozark Trail two-room tent moved around a whole lot more than that little tent did. But it, it did just fine. I wasn't worried about it going anywhere. Uh, stayed dry. Uh, I think they said 3.5 inches of rain, and then we had some after that. So it withstood a lot of rain. And like I said, I do camp dry my tents as soon as I get them. And reseal seams if I think they need it. And the main thing on these tents is that bottom seal where the floor liner is. And uh, when you set these up, I have found, you want to make sure that that lip of the floor that comes up isn't folded in, like right over there where that leg is, because that's where it's going to leak. As long as it's tight, most times they won't leak. But anyway... Uh, did real good. I'm satisfied with it. Sets up real easy. Uh, so far we haven't had any problem with the netting. The Bluetooth speaker inside works great. The LED lights work great. And uh, I'm happy with the purchase. Plenty of room to do what we need to do in there plus some. Now this trip I did bring the ice co refrigerator freezer. We have ice and ice cream on the right side. It's the smaller side. And then we have our food on the left side and canned uh, drinks and stuff like that. And uh, I do have a dual battery system hooked up in the back behind, in between the back seat and the refrigerator. And you can see the charge controller right there just hanging on the back of the seat for now. I'm still messing around trying to figure out how I want to set this up. And I'm really thinking about going a smaller refrigerator that'll only take up half the space help us out a lot when I take this big sucker 
you know, I, I just don't have the room I need for all my other stuff. Uh, our little backpack, Harbor Freight backpack sprayer, I've been washing dishes with it and rinsing off, and it's working awesome. It does everything I need to do, and you do have to pump it a little bit, but hey, no complaints here. Uh, didn't need my traction boards, but since I brought my uh, hitch carrier for this water, uh, I went ahead and put them on there just in case. And I had uh, Roto Packs water jug on this side. It's in the tent right now. Our Wolf Wise shower tent is in there. And our GSP SCN. Uh, tire pump and deflators are right there, which uh, when I load everything up, they're a little more organized than what they are now. I've been pulling stuff out 200 watts of solar. We have had zero issues running our refrigerator freezer and we have a fan in the tent along with the uh, LED lights in the tent. So no issues whatsoever staying charged. I had good sun on these panels uh, this morning and charge the batteries right back up real quick so no issues there uh, we did get wet we've been in the lake and stuff so we got stuff kind of strewn out drying and uh remington's life jacket is drying out the rack worked out great hauled everything we needed plus and this compartment right here if you can see it bottom rack top rack is where my solar panels slide in there and they don't budge once I get them in there but other than that uh, I'm gonna go check our corn dogs and we are just gonna kick back and relax some this evening and enjoy camp it's finally cooling down it did warm up but the clouds are gone the Sun is up it's gonna get a little bit warmer tomorrow than what it is today but this is our view Let's go check those corn dogs and we will holler at y'all later. Another beautiful morning at Lake Washita at the big fur public use area a little bit of fog on the lake this morning I already see a boat on the water way out there Slept really good last night. Temperatures got down uh, about 68. So it was really comfortable in the tent. We're leaving out today though, so we have a little bit of time at the house to just uh, kick back and relax before Ashley has to before we had to get back in the before we had to get back in the groove of things it was good to get out and de-stress and with the price of gas as crazy it is right now we didn't do a whole lot of driving we picked a spot we came to it and we stayed and since this is a free campground we was not out any money for our camp area. And even though the spots wasn't all that level, and like I said earlier in this particular campground, there's really 
no good level spots, but ours was level enough to make do. But I'm fixing to pull out the Coleman grill and get us some morning coffee going. So we'll talk to you later.